Hello and welcome to another Somerset Rio Elm review. Um, just been out, just got what? Just got back home from um, a massive uh, mixed grill. Been out for a nice big meal, so I want something quite refreshing. Um, now every man and his dog has reviewed this beer. I think it's my turn to do it now. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's from the Thornbridge Brewery. It's their Kipling. Um, first, my first uh, Thornbridge beer. Um, now Chris from uh, Real Ellen 140. Uh, I think this is one of his uh, favourite beers, um, but he did say there was an order to review this in um, with the uh, their other beer, the Jaipur, one of their other beers. Um, and I can't remember which one I had to do first, um, or which one he suggested to do first, but um, it's too late now because this one's going first. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to this. Lovely looking label on there. Really good artwork on that bottle. Nice sort of foil uh, top. Uh, label around the neck and there's a lovely bottle cap on there too very very good looking bottle that um, and there's a really long thin neck on it as well um, I haven't got another bottle to compare it to around here but uh, trust me it is a long long neck on it um, it's really easy to get hold of as well in Waitrose you know you can you can get them in Waitrose um, if you've got one near you um, or either that I mean imagine L seller or someone like that has, uh, has got it uh, Right, anyway, let's get the opening. Oh, a nice bit of smoke there. For that lovely, lovely cat. Knowledge, innovation and passion. Oh, he can't even see it. Knowledge, innovation and passion. Lovely. Oh, I've got, just got some of the aromas then. Smells good. Right. That's lovely and pale. It is a pale ale, by the way. I forgot, I'll read you the ABV out in a minute. It's 5.2% uh, ABV, and it's a um, South Pacific Pale Ale, American style. But the other reason I wanted to try this beer is because it's got the um, Nelson Solvin uh, hops in it. And I've never had a beer with those uh, with Nelson Solvin in before. So I'm really interested to see what that tastes like, what flavours I can pick up from that. Um, it's a, sort of, it's very pale, uh, not really golden, sort of, just under golden. Uh, white sort of foamy head, not even half a finger, just the skim on top of the beer. With just a, it's just a few bubbles in it. Um, quite a bit of carbonation in there. Fair bit of carbonation going on. Um, but yeah, let's, let's uh, get the nose in. Wow. I'm really getting grapefruit and um, sort of uh, uh, berries. Um, well, not berries, but f just fruity, maybe. Get a try and stir it up a bit. That is a lovely aroma. I can't put my finger on what what it is, but it's a lovely smell. That smells absolutely gorgeous. Now, I can't put my finger on it, but I'm really looking forward to this. I can't wait to dig into it. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. As I say, I've just had a full, big, full belly full of steak and mixed grill and all sorts. Um, nice bit of refreshment. Anyway, cheers. That is, I've got to say, that's, that's a perfect beer for, for, for this now. The flavour of that is phenomenal. Um, you get a fair bit of carbonation, um, but not, not, not overly, just a, a little bit around your tongue just to force those flavours into your tongue. But it's, um, it's a very fruity, fresh, flavour initially you get this wonderful lovely flavour 
and it's sort of followed by a bit of bitterness, um, a mild bit of bitterness, but it's, it's a mouthfeel is so fantastic on this beer. I'm gonna go again. I really love that. I really like this beer. I can see why everyone's raved about it because the, it's just an amazing flavour. I think it's terms like these that I think this is an amazing thing. What um, mainly the other reviewers are doing because I'm quite new at this at the moment. Um, but to share, I would never have known about this beer, and I've never known to go to Waitrose and get it. But I'm so glad that I have because this is just such a nice beer and if I can do the same let a few people know about it then I think that's it's all worth it really I really like that I wish I had a bit more knowledge um, to explain it to you what the flavour is but it's just a lovely hoppy flavour, and that Nelson Sorvin, I'm, I'm presuming that is that is where the lovely flavour's coming from that I've never tasted before in a beer. Um, I just I, I find it very hard to describe it. That, that, that it's just such a good flavour. Um, I think I'm just going to have to read the bottle because I'm sure I could probably put it in better words than I can. Um, yeah, Thornbridge, <coughs> pardon me, Thornbridge Kipling. South Pacific Pale Ale, 5.2% EBV, innovation, passion and knowledge. Sure is. It's a 500ml brand bottle by the way, I forgot to mention that. Thornbridge Brewery is a collaboration of innovation, passion and knowledge. Our brewers come with a variety of experience but all share the same desire to make great beers using the flavours and the, the land and their aim is to put the art back into the science they were taught. Brewing has forever pushed the boundaries of technology. We found a way to use it to harness our passion for great flavoured beer. This means no pasturation or filtration, no stealing of delicate flavour and aroma molecules. This is craft beer as it should be, a complex combination of all that makes beer great. It certainly is. Kipling is a golden beer made exclusively with the famous Nelson Sorbin hop that imparts tropical fruit like flavours. Yeah, that's yeah. Now, yeah, now I'm, I'll have another taste in a minute and see what I can get. Thornbridge were the first UK brewery to use this hop. The beer's initial sweetness and medium body are balanced by a lasting bitter finish, yeah. Uh, brewed and bottled by Thornbridge Brewery, Riverside Brewery, Buxton Road, Bakewell. Uh, uh, www.thornbridgebrewery.co.uk um, or info at thornbridgebrewery.co.uk Contains multi barley and wheat, may contain sediment. I don't know whether this one does or not. Um, right, let me get the rest of that in there. See if there is any sediment. As you know, I don't mind a bit of sediment myself, but uh, no, there's none in there. Nothing, you wouldn't be seeing it anyway, it's too dark in here. I really need to sort these lights out in here. It's alright in the daytime, but when it gets gets to night, you can't see anything. Let's have another taste and a nose. Yeah, tropical. It's like, like tropical fruit drink. Um, obviously, a lot more. Um, you get, you, you know, you smell it, hoppiness, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's very, yeah, tropical. Yeah, I, I don't know whether, well, I obviously didn't get that without the taste notes, but um, I have seen everybody else's reviews on this, and, um, but, you know, as usual, I forget everything I've ever seen in my life, and, uh, <laughs> and um, can't remember what everyone else had to say about it, but, I mean, that really is, that's something else, that. I think, for me, that has got to get a 10 out of 10 because that's just, just an amazing, amazing beer. Thornbridge Kipling, if 
you see it, get it. It's good. Um, thanks for watching. Um, join me again for another work, another uh, review. Um, I suppect I'll be doing another bit. I'll be doing one tomorrow, and I I'll be doing another one tonight because I'm absolutely bushed now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, love to see your uh, your comments. Have you got any comments on this video or my others? And um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.